What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to Dog Sled Saga, not to be confused with Cat Sled Saga. Cat Sled Saga? Not quite as fast paced. In fact, it's mostly just cats sitting in bridles in snow looking at you like they're gonna slit your throat the next time that you go to bed. Dog Sled Saga! I like this game. I like this game a lot. I don't know if it's gonna be a full series, probably not, but I'm having fun for right now and that's all that matters because that's what video games is all about, son. So, let's go to the next day. We got a bunch of, yeah, we have a bunch of dogs that are fatigued right now, which is unfortunate. All of our dogs, so the last race that we ran, it was a four dog race, and the unfortunate side of that was that we had a bad wheel because I was trying to, I don't want to call you a bad wheel, I feel bad about that, it's kind of like calling somebody a third wheel, it's got like a negative connotation to it, but our, our wheel dog is not trained to be a wheel dog, and I'm trying to get him trained, that's the secret, is that I'm trying to get him where he needs to be, unfortunately Schnitzel Shanker is our real wheel dog that's all trained up and ready to go, so unfortunately, I don't know. Because he was dragging in the rear, it caused everybody else to take a bunch of fatigue kind of making up for him. It's okay, it's not that big of a deal, it's just that now we're kind of trying to make up for lost ground. And so actually, I think I'm going to skip that race. No. I think I'm going to skip the next race. I think that I need to let my dogs rest for right now. Like, yeah, their happiness is going to drop. Simultaneously, I would rather not stress out the dogs if I don't have to. So we have to pay dues. We can go for League 4 right now if we wanted to. I think we'll do one more week at League 3. And then I think at that point we should have enough capital. We should have enough cash to move up to League 4. Let's go ahead. So it's a night flight this time. Or a night fight. So weather, snowy, night. Medium track length. So that's good. Two obstructions. We need to be ready for that. Two trees. Sufficient restock. So it looks like there might be maybe three of them. I don't know. We'll have to be careful about the way that we make this happen though. So I'm going to take Didgery. Eh. I'm gonna take didgeridoo. I think I'm gonna risk it. I also need to get, hold on, Fossil Fonger, you come back over here. We need Humbleberry, so Humbleberry's gonna be up in the front. All right, forward we go. I'm trying to get this dog trained up as a wheel, like really, really badly. I would love to have at least two alternates for every position before we go like further into the game. I just wanna be able to swap my dogs out and keep them safe, cause that's the first and foremost in my mind is I wanna keep my dogs healthy. A, these are working dogs, so if they're not working, I'm not earning money. And then the second thing is they're sentient little creatures that I would really like to keep in good health. I don't wanna have any ridiculously just hobbled dogs running around after the races. I don't wanna be that guy. I don't wanna be that dude. And so even though that's not really something we have to be worried about in this game, it's still something that I am going to worry about. I don't want fatigue levels to get too high. I'm always going to focus on keeping my dogs happy ahead of everything else. That's just life. Here comes a tree. Let me throw out some biscuits to everybody. You're not going to get that biscuit, are you? Nope. No biscuits gained. All right, well... There we go. We'll give him a head bump then. Head bump, sign of respect. Dogs love it. When you hit a dog in the head with a dog biscuit, they don't they don't mind it at all as long as they get to eat the dog biscuit. I actually, I had my dog trained to where if I close my, I show my dog my hand and then I close my fist, he would sit. And I could make him stay and everything else. It was great. I like dog training. I, I think that's actually one of the most perfect sports. Dog training is like, it's a mix. I think it's a mix of mental and physical. And I really enjoyed actually training my dog. I really sincerely did. Watching the dog improve as you cultivated its skills and things like that. It was one of the most satisfying things ever. And that's simply something you can't get from a cat. However, I am still a cat person. I, I don't cat people I haven't sold out. It's just I really, really enjoyed training my dog. It was a pleasing experience. It's fun watching this little animal that's absolutely belligerent and has no idea, no discipline or anything, and turning it into an animal that like can read your eyes and can figure out what you want even without you saying it, or just by like a different type of whistle. Like you can change the way that you whistle and the dog will respond to that. You know, it's just it's cool. It's really, really cool. So I think, I don't know why it keeps resetting our sled. It makes me sad, but I guess we'll go for sled three. That seems kind of cool. And then that leaves us only with funding. So I guess we'll take funding. I, I don't really need the funding, but I'll take it. Cameras flashing, I already know what that does. If cool things happen during a race, cameras from the crowd will flash and your dogs will get famous. Famous dogs will attract sponsors. Okay. Nothing that we didn't know there already, but try to keep happiness up. I wish we could get some more four dog races. I mean, part of me wants more four dog races. So that I can, you know, hustle. Whoa, how many times did your happy? Okay, so I think his capacity for happiness. That's actually kind of a depressing thing. My capacity for happiness has dropped. Like, wow, that's that's a little bit of a downer, man. And in the Christmas season and everything, exhaustion rate's going to be too high for this dog right here. So let's go ahead and swap it out with Schnitzel. So there we go. Exhaustion rate's going to be slightly lower. We could run it with Didgeridude, but I think I'd rather... Yeah. 
I think I'd rather leave it alone. The last thing that Didgeridoo Didgeri did was like not necessarily, he didn't mess up the last race, but our other dogs were definitely having to compensate for the fact that he is not a trained wheel dog. So let's, let's keep some forward momentum here and try and compete on the level that we want to compete on. Let me keep the line spread. Dogs are going to get tired real, real quick on this one. So we got to keep an eye on them. I did that out of order, but oh well. Let's spend a little bit of time rearranging lines. There's a tree coming, so obviously I can't get away right now with throwing anything else out. I'm going to start that right now. Oh, there! That was so late! Oh, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen! That was so epic! I love that dog! I love you, doggy! Oh, that made my day. That made my day. I totally didn't even think that was going to land. I was like, there's no way. Yeah! There was no way it was going to happen, but then it did. But then it did against all expectations. And is that one going to land? Okay, good. Try and keep him fed so that he doesn't... Oh, hell. So that he doesn't take too much fatigue here. Oh, that was so epic. That was so epic. No! My throwing skills are leaving something to be desired right now. Wheel dog needs food. I'm a wheel dog! It's like the battle cry of the Chihuahua. I'm a wheel dog! Everybody makes fun of my rat like steer, but I'm a real dog. My parents are Chihuahua people. They have like loads of. Whoa! Hey now! So our dog's ears are back, and something terrible is happening right now. Oh, I think our dog just freaked out. So I think if there's too much. Ah, shit. Okay, so I think if there's too much fame around. What happens is the dog freaks out or something. I'm not really sure what happened right there. Let's keep the line spaced. But when there was multiple flashes, the dog like lost its shit and went into sprint mode. I think the camera flashes may have scared. I don't think that one's going to land. Oh, it did. Hell yeah. Okay, so we'll get that one on the rebound. Keep them fed right there. As much fame as we can gather on this run. Ah, hell. Double head bump. That was my bad. That was all fail on my part. Let's go ahead and keep biscuits flying out everywhere. That one might be too deep. Yep. Oh, no, he got it. Never mind. Never underestimate a St. Bernard's ability to get food into its mouth. <laughs> All right. What a race for us. That was... I, I sincerely enjoyed the fact that that race went so well. Fatigue is up on Schnitzel Shanker, and we figured out... So Schnitzel Shanker has a fault that we need to lock down sooner rather than later. However, skill levels appear to have increased middle specialties up to three. Okay. So, we got another endorsement deal, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to take the Fitz 8 right there. Schnitzel Shanker has the bottomless pit fault. When her fault kicks in, she'll be overwhelmed by insatiable hunger. Oh, okay. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. I think once we get our cash up to like 1,200, then I'm going to go up to the next league. I just like to be safe rather than sorry. So, we're going to have to drop Schnitzel Shanker for the next race for sure. Otherwise, this is just not going to work for us. We're going to have to have the didgeridoo dropping up in. So, Challenge League average. It's a four-dog race. Ooh. They're hitting us with these. We're getting a lot of four-dog races right now that are in rapid succession. So, we are succeeding. So, that brings a whole new level of succession. Like, it's succession. I mean, things in succession that we're all so successful at. But, you guys know what I mean. Let's keep the line spaced out. I think I'm getting... I think I'm getting used to the four-dog races, but... Just got to keep an eye on them. Let's go ahead and get these biscuits out here. I would rather preemptively throw for right now rather than... Okay. Let me keep you... I should have canceled that one and just lost the biscuit. There we go. Oh, that was fail. That was epic fail. Ooh, there it is. All right. I'm trying to watch the wheel dog right now because the wheel dog is really our weakest link at the moment. Our weakest link at the moment is for sure the didgeridoo, and I don't say that to be mean or, you know, make it sound like the dog can't handle his business compared to the other dogs, but the truth of the matter, and I threw that one a little early, hell, the truth of the matter is that he simply does not perform up at the same level as the other dog. So Fossil Fonger appears to have discovered his internal fault right now. There it is. We still took the victory with no fatigue. That was a really short race. That one felt like it was way shorter than some of the others, but Sans, ooh, good, skills at level 2. So I think it's at skill level 3 where they become a specialized dog for, like, that spot. And then from there, they start to develop the specialty. So he's training. Training slowly, but Fossil Fonger... 
tangle prone fault. When this fault kicks in, he'll become very clumsy with the tow line. Okay. That's fine though, because I tend to keep my spacings alright, so... I might even be playing wrong, I just assume that the spacings keep him from getting tangled. I had lots of tangling problems until I started fiddling with the spacing and then they stopped happening, so I'm wondering if that's how it works or what. Let's continue forward. We got 1200, so I think what we're going to try and do now... How's your fatigue looking? I want my A-team in here if we're going to try and qualify for the next league. Let's. I'm going to drop that one right there. We're going to run an errand, we're going to go to the league office. And at the league office, we're going to apply for... Oh, I thought the dues were 5000 a month for League 4. Okay, let's go to League 4 and let's do this thing. Exhaustion rate's going to be very, very high on didgeridoo, so we want to take some of that stress off. I think that the added skill level there of keeping our wheel dog at moderate is going to... It's going to help us. I think it's going to be something that over the course of the race is going to benefit us. So as they start to strain with their lines, let's go ahead and keep their lines where they need to be. Front dog's already tired. I'm going to start throwing out to the back end too because I do think that it's important to keep your dogs fed in succession. First dog's going to get hungry real soon. There it is. Timing was about what I would have liked right there. The tree's going to be in the way on the next one, but I am going to start the cast time. There it is. Very, very nice. Came in just like I wanted it to. We'll get one going right there. And then on this side, we'll start the throw. We'll try and get that one lined up, although I think I was shallow on that one. Shallower than a kiddie pool. All right, there it is. Which is, of course, a pool that you put kitties in. Because if there's one thing I know about cats, it's how much they love water. I think I've only had one cat ever that really enjoyed water at, like, the same level I've had dogs that do. Let's jump one more time. There it is. Got to keep our rear dog all nice and taken care of. Let's work on our spacings for a second. I'm going to try and get another biscuit out. Eh, that backhand biscuit's going to hurt me. It's going to throw off my timing. Okay. Looking good right there. Tree coming in, but I'm going to start the cast time. There it is. Should have done that in the opposite order. Let me see if I can get that dog. There we go. I don't think he was going to catch that. That's shallow. Oh, no, never mind. No, it's not. I messed up. All right. Well, bonk my dog on the head. And hopefully no photographers are taking pictures right now. Let's try and get... Ah, I couldn't get him out far enough. I don't even know if you can do that, to be honest. It doesn't strike me as a thing that's possible. Oh, good. We got more biscuits just in time. Right when I thought I was going to run out. It looks like we've qualified. Our dogs are doing great. I mean, compared to my first run... Oh, hell. This run is going much, much better. Very, very nice. Okay, so we're in League 4 now. I don't know when the game ends. I don't know what the final league is, but we'll find out, I guess. Schnitzel Shanker, middle three specialties up. Lead specialty to a natural, actually. That's pretty... Oh, I put him in the wrong position. Damn. Okay. Humbleberry is supposed to be in the lead. My order was out for that one, unfortunately. If there's too much slack in the tow line in front of them, dogs may get tangled and slow down severely. When this happens, click them repeatedly. Yeah, so I, that's what I thought. I thought that helps. We have no fatigue distributed across our dogs right now, but we do have a back-to-back -back race, which means that it's very, very good that we actually managed to keep our dogs from getting fatigued, because this could hurt us. We can go pretty much anywhere with these dogs that we want. I don't know who does better, Fossil Fong or Humbleberry in the lead position, but I'm going to leave them where they're at. Slack that. There we go. Let's get that line nice and taken care of. Oh, good. We've got a tree right about the time. Yeah, that's what I figured. We've got a tree right about the time that I don't need a tree. Oh, that was supposed to be awesome. I was going to try and, like, flick him. Like, a f I was going to try and flick him a bone at just the right moment, and unfortunately it didn't work. I think we might get some fatigue right here. I don't think that last one's going to make it. I could try, but... Ah, uh, I should have jumped a little bit later. Yeah, our front dog's going to get fatigued. Let's keep that mid dog nice and taken care of. Let's unslack that line right there. Try and get a biscuit out to him. We'll start the cast time now. And if he gets it, ah, almost. Let's keep everybody fed, though. It's definitely getting a bit more complicated up in here. Alright, so a flaw just came out with our other dog for insatiable hunger, which means that Schnitzel Shanker is unfortunately going to end. I think all of our. Yeah, I'm thinking all of our dogs are going to end up with fatigue here. Unfortunately, the frequency of the trees is keeping me from casting when I want to. Oh, shit. And also, I'm just. I'm just screwing up, to be honest. 
There we go. And we're out of biscuits. So unfortunately, let's spend a little bit of time getting the slack out of the line. Yeah, we just barely made that one. Schnitzel Shanker, that's a very, very problematic skill or a very problematic fault that that dog has. It's going to cost us because it means no matter how well we play, if that fault comes out, you get a bunch of fatigue. So, oh well, what are you going to do? Right, so we've got that right there. I already know how hunger works, so we're not going to stop and read that one at all. We're going to have to put Didgeridoo in, in the back here. It looks like we got a bunch of days before our next race, though, so we might actually be able to, well, with some of these, we may be able to keep it done, but... I think we'll probably have to swap out Didgeridoo, unfortunately, for the next race, and Didgeridoo takes a lot. Like, and I, when I say a lot, I mean an actual parking lot full of fatigue whenever... Oh, never mind. Okay, so this isn't so bad. What I can do now is I can swap out... Didgeridoo, and then we'll swap out... Okay, so it's Flawless Snow, so we're okay right there. I'm actually gonna drop out Fonger and put in Humbleberry. There we go. And it's time. Let's be off and about our way. I've never heard of a lab being used as a sled dog. I think they were just being kind of cute when they designed everything. Oh. Already having a need for the kibbles. Where's that tree at? There it is. So let's get that going. Yeah, there it is with the jump throw. Very, very nice. A little bit of added fame. I think that dog's going to get hungry real soon. This one's actually looking good for us. I think we'll be all right. Although I think the next upgrade that I'll probably go for is the food bag. Since we are more consistently doing four dog races now, I think that having more food is going to be a considerable advantage when it comes to keeping the other dogs out of our way. Oh, I thought I made that one. It was going to be awesome. But unfortunately, it was not. And so, it was not awesome. Let's keep that line nice and straight. There it is. A perfect feeding. Ah. Oh, we got a tree. Okay, so... Let me see what I can do here. But I have to get that dog fed like right this second, otherwise we're going to get fatigued and we can't afford it right now with half of our dogs or a little bit under half of our dogs fatigued. It becomes kind of a... Ah, he went hungry like a millisecond too late. Did you see that? The little puffs from his mouth started like right after the biscuit hit him in the head. Like, ah, was so close. We almost had that one. Whenever they increase their speed like that, we got to make sure, absolutely have to make sure that we keep the line straight. All right, so there we go. Very, very nice. I think we got this one in the bag or in the sled or, you know, whatever receptacle you prefer to keep your victories in. Ooh, I missed that one. That's unfortunate. All right, well, let me try again here. I need to straighten that line. We have slack in that line, and it's going to hurt us. It's not going to hurt me, but it might hurt a dog, and that's just as bad since we're all a team right here. That's another thing I like about dog sled racing is it's a sport where, like, the dogs and the musher they're all doing like their own thing like it's actually fairly exhausting from what I've read to be a dog sledder like standing on the back of the sled is a lot more tiring than you think because you're constantly messing with the lead lines and you've got to keep the dogs organized too which means you can't ever show weakness because the alpha you know got to inspire the rest of the dogs so there it is we got ourselves into the race we're doing pretty good in this league I think once again we might be in a position where unfortunately his skill is fluctuating which is hurting us right now as is his right there so, personalities. There are three main personalities a racing dog can have. Their personality is a clue to their aptitude for each line position. You can't know for sure if they're a natural for a position, but you can rule out the position they'll struggle with. So what was... Their trait was... Let's see, obedient. So, obedient is good for lead. And then what's this one's right here? Aptitude strong. So strong is actually good for the wheel position. Is this dog strong or is this dog obedient? Obedient. So that dog's better as a lead dog. So what we need to find is another dog with... We've got the money for it. Let's run an errand. Let's see if we can get ourselves another, lead, another wheel dog. So we need somebody with a strong personality. So Finn... Or Ollie. Or Dino. We could have a schnauzer on our team, which is weird. Let's, let's go with a schnauzer, even though it makes no sense. So we're going to go with a schnauzer, and his name is Dino, huh? Let's rename him. And we're going to be Rumble Blankets. There we go. Awesome. And so now we have a new member of our team. 
I think I'll probably try and get the dog into position. I, I would like to anyways. And it looks like our fatigue has fallen off, although it's unfortunate. It's very difficult to keep all these dogs in the position you want them in unless you're running five dog races. So it may be time for us to push for the next league, possibly. Let's go. We'll do another race right here. And let's swap out Didgeridude. We'll put in Rumble Blank. Actually, no, we got to put in our big... Let's put in our, our real wheel dog for right now because we got to keep the morale up of the entire team but for right now this race shouldn't even be a problem for us this should be something that we should be able to handle with a plumba I don't oh you can cancel the throw with right click oh no and then you can misclick and accidentally throw one into the dirt right there let's go ahead and get these dogs fed a couple more biscuits out I like this game a lot this is a game that very very strangely surprised me I was like okay well, it's an interesting concept for a game, but I'm not sure if it's something that I personally would enjoy playing. And upon playing it, like my first couple races, I was just like, yeah, I like this game. This game is going on the channel. Even if I don't have time for a full series, we'll probably do like a mini series of it so that I can show it off and, you know, let people know. Because I think good ideas in gaming should be encouraged. And I just head bonked my dog. Head bonked my dog. Let's get some of that slack out of that line right there. Feed the wheel dog. And we need a feed station, like, right this second. Let's get some biscuits out, because our mid-dogs are looking real unsteady right now. There it is right there. The slack's looking good. The hunger's looking suitable. I think I overshot the middle dog. Oh, no, he got it. Okay, good. She got it. I'm sorry. Ah, and I wasted another biscuit. The misclicks when you're trying to drag lines happen pretty frequently. I think I would actually rather have the biscuits tuned to the space bar. Just me personally, I would rather have the biscuits be space bar and then you can only drag lines, but I don't know. Let's, yeah, there's the fatigue right there, unfortunately. Come on, everybody, let's keep it together. Let's keep it together. Fourth place right there, into second place, no, third place, okay. Well, whatever then. And we're going to do the jump right there, but nobody's tired, so I'm not going to worry about doing an aerial catch biscuit throw. Lead dog's looking a little bit shaky. Just in time, we got ourselves to the refeed bin. Let's get some of the slack out of the line, because there is a lot of it right now. All right. We'll throw that in. Very good. Very, very good. Pretty steady at the moment. I don't know if we're going to make lead. This might be a second place race for us. Okay, so I'm going to get that on the rebound. We'll throw it to there. We got a flaw that just came out on one of our dogs. Unfortunately, Insatiable Hunger, Schnitzel, we really need to replace that dog. Unfortunately, while that dog is a main member of our frontline team, that trait is just too detrimental. There it is again. It's just a really, really detrimental trait, and it's like, what do you even do with it? All right, so we got a bench Schnitzel again, unfortunately. Luckily, we have another dog right now that I think can take its place, so it'll be all right. I think we can make this work in the end. We'll do... Well, actually, I think we're out of time. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for another episode of Dog Sled Saga. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Thank you for joining me here today. I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to say tomorrow. Bye, everybody. I do.